Hello everyone and welcome to Medseed. In this video, we will be learning about the epithelial tissue, starting from what is epithelial tissue to the functions and characteristics of epithelial tissue and then later in this video, we will also deal with the type of epithelial tissue. Here we will be learning about the simple epithelial, right? So let us start with the very basic question about what is the epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue are widespread in our body. They are omnipresent starting from lining our body cavities to forming our body surfaces and they also form the major chunk of the glands which are present in our body. So let us now talk about the functions of epithelial tissue. So first and foremost function of epithelial tissue is providing protection. Now as we know the epithelial tissue lines our body surfaces so it provides it provides the essential protection with these which these tissue require right it provides protection from abrasion chemical inserts uh, invasion by pathogens uh, let's take an example of esophagus in esophagus the chemical insert which esophagus faces due to intake of food and drinks so that is you know that is taken care by the epithelium esophagus is lined by epithelium which protects it against the chemical inserts by the food and drink which we take in let us move to the second function that is secretion epithelial tissue it secretes it, it plays a very pivotal role in secreting many enzymes in the digestive tract also it is lined by microvilli so these microvilli they help in absorption like in case of small intestine the epithelium is lined by microvilli which help in absorption of nutrients. The third function is transport. Uh, let us take the example of alveoli and the capillary bud. Right? Uh, in the alveoli, the between the between the alveoli and the blood vessel, the transport of gases has to take place. And this is facilitated with the help of epithelium present. The epithelial cells are very thin and they help in transport of gases between these two structures. Let us now talk about the characteristics of epithelium. So first and the most important characteristic is cellularity. Now cellularity is a feature which distinguishes epithelial tissue from all the other type of tissues. See all other tissues, their major component that is the cells, they are separated, they are widespread and in between them a lot of connective tissue is filled in. But in case of the epithelial tissue, the tissue is mainly formed by cells. The cells are present very close to each other and they form tight junctions, right? So cellularity is a very important function, a very important characteristic of the epithelial tissue. Second one is vascularity. Vascularity that is the blood supply. Epithelial tissues are avascular avascular in the sense that they don't have their own blood supply right so a question naturally comes to us that if they don't have their own blood supply how do they how do they get their nutrients from right so the epithelial tissue derive their nutrients from the underlying cells the underlying cells and underlying tissues they provide nutrients the blood vessel which these underlying tissues have they provide nutrients to the epithelial tissue the third characteristic is the presence of basement membrane. These epithelial tissues, they rest on the basement membrane. Now this resting on basement membrane also provides polarity to the epithelial tissues. Polarity in the sense that the cells, the part of cell which rests on the basement membrane is the basal part, while the part which faces the lumen or the cavity is the apical part. Right? Now, moving to the last function that is regeneration. As you know, the epithelial tissue, it, uh, you know, it is uh, very much exposed to all the physical and chemical inserts. So, it should have a very important property of regeneration and for us, it really has that. Uh, the epithelial tissue has a great power of regeneration. So, that is a very important characteristic to keep in mind. So, let us now talk about the types of epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue is mainly classified on the basis of number of cells present. Epithelial tissue is classified into simple epithelial tissue and stratified epithelial tissue. 
In simple epithelial tissue, there is only a single layer of cells present. While in stratified epithelial tissue, as the name suggests, strata means layer. So a multi-layer, n number of layers of cells are present in stratified epithelial tissue. So in this video, now here we'll be learning about the simple epithelial tissue. So let us learn about the types. So there are three types of simple epithelial tissues present in our body. The simple squamous, simple cuboidal and simple columnar. So let's learn about each of them. Simple squamous, this type of tissue mainly consists of extremely thin and flattened cells which have a rounded and flattened nucleus. Since they are very thin, we can deduce their function in our body and that is transport of substances across them. Now, simple squamous facilitates selective transport of substance. As these cells are located very close to each other, they form tight junctions. These tight junctions allow the passage of only selected ions and substances across it. So, the different type of transports like diffusion, osmosis, filtration, these are all the functions of simple squamous epithelium. So where are the sites where it is found? So it is found in the pleural and peritoneal cavities. It is found in the blood vessels. The endothelium of blood vessels It is mainly formed by simple squamous epithelial tissue. And also it is found in the alveoli and the capillaries where the transport of gases between the blood and the air takes place. Moving on to the simple cuboidal epithelium. As the name suggests, the cells are cuboidal in shape which appear square on cross-section. There is a large rounded centrally placed nucleus. Now the main function of simple cuboidal epithelium is secretion and providing protection. It is found in the lumens of kidney where it serves the purpose of absorption and also it is found in the thyroid around the follicles where they serve the function of secretion of thyroid hormone precursors. Moving on to simple columnar epithelium. As we can see in the image, this tissue is made up of a single layer of long epithelial cells that are often seen in regions where absorption and secretion are important functions. The cells are arranged in a neat row with nucleus near the basal end. Now simple columnar epithelium that is found in small intestine and stomach and gallbladder now, and many other structure like these. So it is seen with brush border where the apical surface of the plasma membrane is covered in minute actin based projection, minute actin based projections which are known as microvilli. So sites like small intestine and gallbladder and stomach, the simple columnar epithelium is lined by microvilli. Now as we know that cilia helps in the movement of substances. So simple columnar epithelial tissue lined by cilia is found in certain tubular structure where movement of substances is required. Like it is found in the eustachian tube and also in fallopian tube. In fallopian tube, the movement of oom is facilitated with the help of cilia present on the simple columnar epithelium. So this was all about the simple epithelial tissue and also its types. Hope you had a good time learning. Thank you so much.